Cue it up. You will, baby. Welcome back, and welcome to Slightly Jar Treasure Chest. Slightly Ajar. Slightly Jar Treasure Chest. You can check us out at satchvgm.com. That's S-A-T-C-H-V-G-M.com. I'm your host, Jess Mark. And I'm Nate Bit. Who, who's Nate Bit? I'm, I'm, I'm the secondary he's guy. He's the second guy. Yeah. Oh, he's the second guy. Sometimes he's the first guy, but today he's the second guy. Just depends. Just depends. It Jess Mark depends. No, I no, I, I don't think I don't think anyone like that. Um, no. Mark, just Mark here, Nate Bit, and of course our awesome and famous producer Ed for the win. What up, bitches? What up? You know, if you guys joined us for the last episode, you know, I gotta apologize. Uh, first off, we gotta apologize. We why? Uh, it was Oktoberfest, and we mm. were we were drinking. We can, we you, we're, could, you could tell towards the end of the episode we were slightly <laughs> slurring our words. We more. were slightly yeah. slurring our slightly slurring. Slurring. <laughs> slurring. Yeah, slurring. yeah slurring. absolutely. Yeah. But that theme was a part of our entire this entire month of themes, which has all been about Halloween, um, scary games, scary games. So we've done we've covered zombie video game music tracks, and we did some fun Oktoberfest dealing with drinking as well. And we also did a theme that was kind of interesting about games that we didn't expect to scare us, but actually did, yeah. and was mainly due to that video game music. So this week, continuing that theme, we're actually going into our ghosts. Ghosts. Because ghosts are the next hotter thing than zombies. Vampires are whack. You know, I, I, I can't mean, wait like, to the ghosts make I, it come back. I can even think of like a vampire music theme where it's like, oh my god, it's a vampire there. You know, maybe two or three Dracula games, maybe Castlevania. You can't put a vampire in a yeah. Mario game. Yeah. Oh you my god, you can't. Could That's you? so good. Yeah. That's so good. Ghosts fit perfectly. <laughs> Absolutely. Joining us for the show, we have very, very, we have very, <laughs> we have two very special guests. Two. Two. two this is the first time, this is the first time we ever doing this. Episode five. We're getting dangerous. This is crazy. Oh, we might have like four special guests. They <laughs> 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 like, just have bust out the wall. Like, oh, yeah. I'm the next one. <laughs> the rest of the show is just introducing people. Absolutely. Uh, our first guest <laughs> Is a guy you guys are going to hear back from, really knowledgeable guy about video games, been working in the industry for a long time, and is now going to be directing um, all of our film work by kind of like episode 10. We're going to have some of the YouTube stuff up. Chris, go ahead and say hello to everybody. Hello, everyone. Everyone, hey. respond everyone. to him. Email him. Hello. <laughs> hello, Chris. Hi, Chris. Yeah. I like your mohawk. <laughs> he does have a mohawk mm. and an awesome beard. Mm. I'll take a picture later. Put it up you. on the web. So Take, burly. Can you, can you email it to me? I, I will definitely. Awesome. Well, Instagram it, Facebook, Facebook it, picture. Twitter Faceback? it. Faceback? Oh, really? Faceback. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just Faceback Graham me, dog? <laughs> <laughs> I saw that on Faceback Graham, and it wasn't cool. Dude, I liked it. <laughs> it wasn't cool. Um, moving on, our second guest, we're going to hear from a little bit later, but I want to get him introduced now. He's awesome, huge gamer, really controversial, kind of like your angry gamer guy, but even worse than the angry gamer guy. He's like your... There's, there's yeah. already a talk what, show about angry gamers. Is it? Yeah. What's what's worse than an angry gamer? Well, I'm just saying like there's, wet, a, like there's a already wet. like a, a guy who does angry gamer stuff. So what's worse so than an angry gamer? Yeah, like a wet your bed gamer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, a scary gamer. All right, introducing our scary wet your bed gamer, Sean. <laughs> Sean, tell us a little bit about your gaming history and how you wet the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, funny thing, I've been playing video games since I was wetting the bed. Oh, so, uh, nice. Yeah, you know, I've been During playing games since I was about nine. I've <laughs> been playing video games since I was about nine years old. And uh, yeah, I've just been playing them ever since. I love video games. I'm trying to make them my life. And uh, yeah, that, that guy you hate online, you know, the kid you just kind of assume is fat, yelling at you all kinds of heinous things. Yeah, it's probably going to be me. Would you consider yourself a troll? Of sorts. Yes. Okay. <laughs> In every way. Well, I, I, I want to get back to this wedding the bed while playing video games. That's that's yeah. pretty amazing. That's Your pretty mom amazing. wasn't happy. I mean, like, are, you, are you used to rubber sheets? That's an excellent <laughs> state of relaxation, honestly. Yeah, you know what I mean? <sighs> that, no, I, hey. That's just a form of just not caring. You're hey. like, I'm going to go to the bathroom, but I'm just going to keep playing. 
Hey, you know what? It just gave me the bladder control to play all the marathon games I've played so far. Exactly. <laughs> that's, a, that's a true gamer, guys. Forget the bathroom. <laughs> forget food. No, you need some food. Have somebody bring you food. <laughs> Mom, more Hot Pockets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, South Park. All right, so Ed for the Wind's got some news for us. Let's let's kick it. He sure does. Thank you, Nate Bit, for that background music. (laughs) All right, the Wii gamepad, you know, the gamepad with the screen. The yeah. The Wii. Yeah. The Wii U. Uh, Wii U. The Wii U. Uh, Wii U. Okay. Wii U. It has a mic, but it, you won't be able to chat with people online with that mic. What's You'll have to get a third-party mic wired, wired connected to it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I want to say a, wireless. There's a, there's a ghost of like Nintendo choking Ed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> Don't tell him. That's that's why he's having a tr- uh, just a little bit of trouble getting it out. What is so, the reasoning behind that? Wait, you, there is no reasoning. It's you're terrible. talking about the so the mic the screen that we get that's a Nintendo DS. There's a mic on there. <laughs> so we the, the, there's a, a mic on XL. that DS. That but you we, won't be able to use it for game chat. What are we gonna use it for? Uh, like the like DS, where we blow stuff. in it and make bubbles. Pretty much. So you have to get a third party gamepad or third party headset, hook it up to it with a wire, and play that way. Yeah. I, and I, and I, the pro controller doesn't even have an input for that headset. You'll have to have the actual screen gamepad next to you. Or while the you Wii play. U remote, right? You can plug into that. Or does the Wii remotes, like the new ones, gonna have it on there? I don't think so. We won't know yet. So you're gonna have to have the screen plugged into your headset to talk that way, plus using your other remote. Yeah. He's, so you have that in your lap while you. Well, it sounds like games. fun. Sounds like more accessories. Sounds like more money. I'm, I'm down. Let's spend more money, guys. I'm Let's. Hey, it. you know, I have the money. I you, have it. You do not. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally the problem. That's, that's yeah. literally the problem. Sorry, it's, it's definitely one of the laziest things Nintendo's done. I think they're usually on with their, you know, accessories and releases. But they uh, love their accessories. You know, I, I mean, they're always doing something new, and um, you know, I mean, even with this gamepad, this will be. I mean, what, last time we seen like Dreamcast, right? Like Chris, you said like Dreamcast was probably like the only. Oh, with the VMU. S- had the like oh, yeah. screen. You get the. Yeah, uh, mini yeah and it worked out so well for yeah. Sega. <laughs> worked out so well, and that was. It was fun. a good idea, though. It was a great idea. It was just too. It wasn't like it wasn't time yet. So yeah. wait for Dreamcast two. <laughs> You'll be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's next on the board here? All right, Popcat is teaming up with the American Dental Association to stop Zombie Mouth, quote unquote. Zombie Mouth. Yes. Zombie what, mouth. Can you ex- what is exactly zombie mouth? From eating too much candy. So you'll be able to go to stop mu- uh, stopzombiemouth.com and print out coupons for free Plants vs. Z- zombies downloads. You didn't make zombie mouth sound bad. Like, yeah. you know, like, I mean, like, <laughs> you know, intrigued. you're like, we get zombie mouth for eating too much candy. How, where's the negative? I don't, I don't really see <laughs> you it. get cavities <laughs> and your teeth I fall out. I become oh. a zombie. Oh. So I, I can, I, I would love to see like a mom like, get away from me, you got zombie mouth. I would love to, I would love to see her say that. because So not, the kid would have no teeth. She's not cool she's enough. Like, sorry, no let's candy be, this year? Just play Plants vs. Let's zombies. be real. I think Popcap dropped the ball on this one. First off, they shouldn't have teamed up with the American. American Dental Association. <laughs> if there's anything kids love more than candy, it's dentists. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, you know, honestly, though, it's like you can't give away games for Halloween. Like, it's it's not Christmas. You know what I mean? Like, you want to go and get candy. That's all I want to go out and get ca- candy when I go to Halloween. Do you have any bejewels? I'll trade you a bejewel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, uh, yeah, it is, it is fun. I don't want I, this Kit Kat bar. I, I would love to see, like, who is going to be giving off this thing. And honestly, you know, if you're a huge gamer, this is definitely for the good. Um... Give out this with addition to candy and moderate the candy because you don't want them to get Staple zombie it mouth. to the candy. You're like, here's two pieces for you because you just you're, you're so close to zombie mouth already. <laughs> <laughs> you're so close. You to might as well mouth. just go over that. Yeah, that's fun though. That's cool. Cool. So where can we check out? Where can we check that out? Where can people stop zombiemouth.com? Stop zombiemouth.com. Cool. Cool. Believe it. I want the shirt. Where's ca- where's causezombiemouth.com? <laughs> <laughs> we just send you all the candy. <laughs> so give us your name. Trade that. in all your video games. Like, type, <laughs> type in your name and put your email here, and they just email you discounts for candy <laughs> at CVS and write it. Uh, <laughs> all right. I'm sorry. What's, what's next? <laughs> all right. The hit Gangnam Style is coming to Just Dance 4 in November. Ooh. Finally, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I've been waiting because we all have our copies of Just Dance for everyone. 
Chris, do you uh, do you do the Gundam style dance like around your house sometimes? Um, almost daily. Um, almost daily. But Make I'm kind of hoping that with the song being input into Just Dance for the dance is completely different. Like, oh, there's not. Yeah. I think that would be fantastic. Wouldn't that be wild? I wonder how much money this guy's making. He's got to be making a grip, man. Like, I mean, like, it's, literally to blow up. I can't think of another career that had like that kind of like height would blow up. So like, they have to just keep giving him money. Like every other day, he has to be signing like a new contract. Like, oh, hey, you know what? We got you for this beer. It's called Gundam Beer. <laughs> <laughs> we want you to uh, want you just uh, sign your initials right there, and we'll put your little hands together. <laughs> just the Hold YouTube the ads alone, he's yeah. got to be making a bunch of money. I, mean, I get it. The song is catchy, and the video is perfection. But yes. the thing that bothers me the most is that they're making like he invented the gallop dance, which oh, is just yeah. frustrating. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, I think it was it's time for kind of like I think there's always a dance move that like takes over like a year or a year or two. Mm -hmm. We haven't had one for a long time. That's that's I mean, what, what was, was the last, the last dance? The it was probably Macarena? No. Are you kidding <laughs> So it was like a soldier. And no one's been dancing since nineteen ninety three. I don't I don't even know. I don't know I should know this. But like literally there's always been like a dance. It's like, oh you go to a club and they're playing this and you're like what is everybody doing? <laughs> what is everybody doing? I'm gonna go to drink because I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> so you guys don't like the dice move? <laughs> is, is that like I've been on the now? dice. Yeah. So I got all my women. They're like, yeah, yeah. classic Nate. Nate bit, right? Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everyone does a Nate bits where you stand in the corner and talk to no one. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's cool. That's it for the news. There's nothing else. Oh, well, there's a release date actually. Release date. Is that today? Uh, tomorrow on October 23rd, Medal of Honor Warfighter comes out. Warfighter. Warfighter. That game, the first one did so great, right? No? No? Not yeah. so much. No. It was really hyped up and not so much, right? Well, I feel like it came out two years too late because they were kind of like billing it as the biggest competitor to Modern Warfare 2. And it wasn't. After Modern Warfare 2 like sold 8 billion copies. You've got, <laughs> you've got a dangerous, I think entering into that, yes, we want it, but we have it. We have the kind of like the op optimal example of a shooter a real life shooter and then our futuristic shooter of Halo. It literally these are two video games that are dominating the entire genre. Mm -hmm. It's going to be difficult for anybody. Right. You know? Like, I, I love when people are like, hey you play that new Man of Honor? I'm like, no I haven't. <laughs> I'm just I starting to get confused by it. I mean like Warfighter, Modern Warfare, I mean Medal of Honor the next one should be called like Dark Ops. Yeah. <laughs> Dark Ops. <laughs> African Zombies. <laughs> It's getting weird. <laughs> <Just> like, <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. There's nothing else coming out. No. Nope. Um, Halo. Big. Halo Four is coming out soon. I guess. Yeah. We uh, in November. That, but, oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Fourteen days, <laughs> three hours, Nate, ten minutes. Nate is just super excited. <laughs> yeah. Nate, yeah. Nate, Nate is just super excited. excited. No, I've been <laughs> seeing that YouTube video everywhere. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it as well. But they, they, they did like a real life kind of like Halo. Oh. Um, mastered. Yeah. Like there's a bunch of like army guys and Master Chief comes and. So I think Machinima it's a, it's a actually badass. did it. I they did a full-length yeah. movie. It actually comes with a limited edition of Halo 4. Yeah, that's you crazy. Get a full 90-minute Halo story. Now, we're going to do that. Cool. We're doing that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I, I decide. Cool. I'm, I call <laughs> I call Cortana. <laughs> Cortana, get your ass in the truck, babe. Got to go. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. I really like their take on Halo. <laughs> Oh my god. No, Nate, you're gonna like, say something before I got <laughs> Okay. Right. Well I think we should just go to our pick of the week. <laughs> pick right, of the week. Pick of the week, babe. Alright, I'm gonna go first. I'm excited. You should. I'm excited because I'm angry. Okay? I'm really angry. I wanna give you guys a little black end back end. I'm gonna give you a little back end black ops of this <laughs> of the show. Um Edwin, our awesome producer, um, sends us a just a ton of music for us to review for the show. Uh, Nate Bit Nine, Edwin. Look over the music. We pick some of um, the picks from it. Sometimes we bring out picks from um, things that we've already been thinking about. So Ed sent me this list, and uh, I I was just painfully disappointed with this list. I was painfully disappointed. I oh, saw it, I saw it and collapsed with a seizure, and I got back up and collapsed with a heart attack. It was that bad. And then he made it to the podcast. That made it to the podcast. He's a I'm trooper. Here. No, I I so what did you I, pick? I wasn't that mad about it. I just was really lacking some like some real kind of mainstream Mario. This is uh Mario sixty four. Um, this what? is the hallway. This is the hallway. Oh, this okay. is the hallway, and like you get you like you're putting like five or six doors. And you go in that one door, and it's got like that piano that like chomps at you. Yeah, ridiculous. That's great. Ridiculous. I mean, like you know, graphics are not scary, but like at the same time, a chomping piano. Still one of the best games of all time, honestly. Absolutely. Uh, really set the tone. 
So this is this is scary, man. Or this is a Mario. Oh yeah, this is like way before uh, what was it? <laughs> the last one they had the Super Nintendo. Way different than that. This was like it was all midi and kind of happy at the same time. Oh yeah. This is all creepy. This is they really was like, hey, we're gonna we're gonna wet these. We're gonna bed with these kids. <laughs> we're gonna shine these shawn kids. We're gonna shine these kids. <laughs> I want these kids emailing us. <laughs> this is good. Hey, I just wet my bed Nintendo. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. So that was my pick. And, uh, you know, I, I will apologize, Ed, for the win. I'm sorry for getting mad at you and for that. You, should, you should feel bad. I, I am. You're bad and you should feel bad. Nate, how about you, man? Uh, you I had, and I feel like everyone who's played this game has kind of fallen in love with it, but Banjo-Kazooie. And it immediately brings you back, of course. And for those who don't know, that this game is about a bear and a bird. Uh, the witch stole his cute little sister just to take her good looks, and that's, and that's the whole point of the game. And he goes through a huge adventure through scary houses and ice levels, just like Mario in, to go get his princess. Ban Banjo's the bear and Kazooie's the bird? Correct. How do they know each other? Are they lovers? Uh, I don't think they've ever engaged in that sort of concept, but they didn't show, they didn't have like a prequel to it. So, uh, you know, and, they, and that wasn't like a well. You know, there was a part in the game where you could poop out uh, eggs. No, uh, as the bear? bear? Well, the the bird. Like, you, oh, you uh, crouch down, the bird would make noises and <laughs> an egg would come out. You're obviously disturbed by this when you're kid. You're like, mom. <laughs> I was a little surprised. It, it makes these little like. I wet the bed when the bird played the same. <laughs> this, the entire theme of this episode is about wetting the bed. If you guys, <laughs> if you guys haven't changed. picked that up, it's not about yeah. ghosts anymore. But no, this is dope. This is dope. I definitely think this is this is eerie. This oh, is it's good. Ear. It's good. That's a creepy. The main number two. I'm still waiting for number three. Uh, rare. Come on. Yeah. You know, I didn't. I didn't get bolts. into this title, and I was like, I was trying to find the reason because I know it's one of the bigger titles in Nintendo. Um, 64, but like the, even the dates between, I guess, like when, when it came out, like, like two or three years after, like them kind of like the the flat, the mainstream titles of uh, 64 games. Oh well, yeah, 96 was when N64 was released, which was Mario 64. Yeah, and so this is two years later, you yeah. know. So like, they got a huge influence from Mario, of course. Yeah. It was good. Cool. It was good. And I want to go to Ed because I'm kind of excited for his. Oh, I'm not. You actually know about mine? Uh, no, I'm just excited to hear you talk. Oh, oh thank you. <laughs> My pick is Ghostmaster for the PC. Like, <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> um, this is a lot of fun. Wait, wait. I picked this because it's different from any other game that I've played. All right, can you it, sell me on this game? Yeah, actually, you take control of ghosts. It's an RTS. You take control of the ghosts and you try to scare the shit out of everyone in the house. Like, you start off with stuff slow, like wind blowing or them getting like a what? weird chill and then like your meter builds up where you could do bigger scares and bigger haunts and pretty much they run from the house <laughs> screaming this is amazing it sounds great i so yeah. let's I, let's play it after the show it's like a strategy game almost yeah it's an rts where awesome. you like place you pick your uh, array of ghosts you want for a certain level you put them in different rooms it's it's the StarCraft of Ghost. You games. know what this theme Pretty reminds much. me of? What's that? Ghostbusters. Kinda. I'm, I'm really Ooh, feeling like a, a Ghostbusters. You know. I'm feeling it. It was a great bit. movie. Mm -hmm. Watch it. Watch it tonight. Netflix. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Netflix is playing me about was like Ghost three dollars. <laughs> <Just laughs> say it on your show, man. It's three dollars. Get out of my face. <laughs> plug. <laughs> if you want to plug, just let us know. You bastard, Netflix. <laughs> Netflix money. Um, no, dude. This I think good. this is cool. I'm gonna definitely check this out. All right. Yeah. Very All cool. Right, cool. I'm going to get it right now. Wait, Chris, so uh, do we have one for you? Um, no. <laughs> do, you have, I mean, do you have one? What's your favorite? What about if, your If favorite? you could have one, I'm kind have? of actually really upset because you just brought up mine. My actual, like, as far as ghost music goes, I know it's kind of a stretch, but playing Ghostbusters the video game oh, cool. with the original mm -hmm. Ghostbusters theme was life-changing for me. I mean, I was 25 when it came out. I grew up on the Ghostbusters. <laughs> I was I Egon for Halloween that. like seven years in a row. Like, you don't understand how much Ghostbusters dominated my life. So to like be able to feel like a Ghostbuster with the original cast was phenomenal. So and are I you still... talking about the uh, 
newest Ghostbuster game? Yes. Uh, well, not the not the the online, uh, like not the arcade. No, version. no, like the um, the, yeah, the kind of remake that they did, where yes. you play like a rookie. And it yes, yeah. it played out like they they wanted to make it like a, a sequel to the movie. Kind yeah, because right? everyone yeah. who's actually in the movie is like ninety now, and it wouldn't make sense for them to <laughs> that be. Make, that makes they sense. Could. People, just, people age. They're still working on the third movie, which they've been I think working really? on for fifteen years. Now, I don't know if that's ever coming out. I think it's coming out the same day as the Arrested Development. I mean, all you really need is Bill Murray. I mean, <laughs> I think you just need Bill Murray for life. Like, hey, Bill Murray, just come over, make my life complete. He, yeah, no one would believe you. Oh, my God. Didn't Egon get fat? Kind of. Yeah. Well, let's not say that because he's going to come over and beat you know, the when, shit out of us. When I get, he's just going to show up and kick my door When I in. get money, I'm going to get fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Don't make fun of Bill Murray. Uh, all right, I kind of want to get to our next segment here with, uh, with Shawnee. Shawnee, the, the bedwetter. Well, I, I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, no, Sean. You, I, I think we're ready for you. Are you ready? Is he on the spot? Am I Sean. on the spot now? No, you're not. What are you talking? What are you talking about? We're talking about our next segment. What? Wow. Sean on the spot. Sean on the spot. Sean on the spot. We're gonna we're gonna give Sean uh, five minutes on the clock. So I'm gonna cue that up. So I'm gonna cue him five minutes. Five minutes on the clock, and we're gonna give him literally random topics about video games. And he's going to do, do whatever he wants with them. I feel like that's a good idea. Yeah. I, know, feel, like, yeah, I don't know if this is a good We're going to let him literally have the, real. Yeah. have the show. Get pumped up. You know? Do what you got to do. Yeah. Turn that mic over. Some can't arm hear you. circles that we need to do. <laughs> get ready for this. All right. Again, All right, get, um, get in front of the mic. If you're just, jo- if you're, if you're just joining us in the show because you like, you know, listening to podcasts halfway through because you're a jerk. <laughs> um, Sean is the angry video game guy that you definitely he comments on a YouTube and calls everybody like a bad word and who's super racist and hates everybody. <laughs> <laughs> makes you who makes you like, oh my god, I'm so angry. <laughs> so just how racist are you? Yeah, just um, is a race. Racism, race <laughs> dominant. <laughs> I think I think that's I think that's a good amount. Yellow. Mm. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish you would have said yellow, but I do like the seven. Yeah. Guys, this could get ugly. All right, Sean. Your first question is not question. Topic: <clears throat> Call of Duty versus Halo. Okay, so you've got all these little kids that run around and play Call of Duty thinking that they're hot shit just because, you know, they can pull a trigger for two-thirds of a second just running around where half the servers are lagging and somehow that's a better game than where it actually takes skill to kill people. And the little COD bitches, they just sit there and scream like, yada, 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 oh, it's harder because we can shoot super fast and it's a more fast-paced game. That's bullshit. The more fast-paced it is, that means the more random it is. The more random, the easier it is to be a bitch at it. Women playing video games. Oh god, I wish more women played video games because at least they would understand something about most of us gamers. They don't understand how we can't be texting them back and forth all fucking day when a new game comes out. The last Who's thing texting I want to you? Do, girls, Nate. Okay. Girls. There I are some. I know this. But still, text, text. I'm, thinking, I'm like trying to level up my little panda character and no, oh, how was your day? No, just text that. Sit there, go back, wait another 20 minutes to respond. It's just, it's just terrible well, stuff. Well, sucks. Your thoughts. Wow sucks, my thoughts. What, are you a Star Wars fanboy? Still clinging to the hope that that game is going to come back to life? Or do you play Guild Wars? None of the above. None of the above? I have a life. So so how do you have an opinion on it then? DRM in video games. DRM is a very touchy subject because when it's done well, you don't even know it's there. But when it's done very poorly, everyone bitches about it. And it is really bad that they feel that they need to do this to games. But let's be honest, the reason they're doing this to games is because we don't want to pay for games. And maybe that'll make them do better. Because I'll, I'll support DRM. First day DLC. First day DLC. First day DLC is dumb. If you have it ready the day the game comes out, it should be in the game. Why is it not in the game? Are you telling me that when you sent the thing to be produced to discs, that you were still developing stuff so you could have that one little piece ready? Why not just put it in there or give it free? Stuff. Microtransactions. Microtransactions. I'm okay with as an MMO gamer because it does one of two things. You either pay a monthly fee like you do with World of Warcraft, or you do microtransactions in games that are completely free to play. So you can pay for as hardcore as you want to be. So in an MMO standpoint, I'm okay with it. In everything else, it's not usually the best thing in the world. I don't want to pay 99 cents every time I want a new skin for my rifle or something like that. Midnight releases at GameStop. Midnight releases at GameStop are amazing because it makes me feel like less of a nerd seeing so many more people out there. I feel like I have brothers again. You know, as you get older as a gamer, there's a lot less of let's all play video games with my friends and a lot more I'm sitting in a dark room by myself eating cheetos. Kids on Xbox Live. Kids on Xbox Live are the worst things. You need to be 17 or older to have the ability to do voice chat on there because it saves them from predators and because it saves them from angry people 
people hunting them down to murder them because of the things they say over the internet. Pirating or not pirating? I will pirate a game, and if it's good, I will pay for it. Even though I already have it, I will pay for it. Give an example of you ever doing that. I bought Skyrim twice. Okay. Twice? <laughs> After pirating it once, I bought Skyrim twice. Nas energy drink. Nas energy drink, it's piss. It's literally the piss of race car drivers. It is bottled race car driver piss. Perfect video game fast food. Perfect video game fast food, I'm gonna go with chicken nuggets and french fries from McDonald's because they're maximum delicious, but little amount of impact on making your controller all greasy or your mouse. Speaking of which, you're fat. Yes, I am. <laughs> your thoughts? <laughs> Um, well, I've done it to myself over all these years, just eating lots of fast food, lots of gaming. I live a very sedentary lifestyle, you know. Pretty much spent all my time playing World of Warcraft and yelling at noobs online. Nacho cheese tacos. Love them. I want them to happen more often. I wish more places did them. Ranch flavored tacos. Ranch flavored tacos? Are we talking like putting ranch on a taco? Or are we talking about like a Dorito ranch? Dorito ranch Dorito? taco. Love them. I would eat that in a second. I would actually like that with nacho cheese. That would be quite delicious. Your mother's a whore. <laughs> Your thoughts. Okay. There, wait, there's let's, a whore? Let's, let's end it on Your that mother note. is a whore. My uh, mother is a whore. <laughs> you, you no know contest? What I, you know what I really wanted to do was the Nickelodeon ooze. I was, <laughs> that's that's all I had in my head. I was like, I don't know. I feel like some ooze needs to come down on Sean right now. I mean, we need to have him <laughs> tell. Like, season we, ends. And then we need to have him tell him. Because I feel like they ooze people and they never really talk to us. Like, how do you feel now? <laughs> now that you've been shitted on by green stuff. Oh, Mark, can I offer you an unique thing here? I actually went to the Nickelodeon studios in Florida and I actually have been slimed. Slimed? I have been slimed with the green gag oh. stuff that falls down on you. Ugh. Big green gag stuff. It is, it's kind of like being covered in half frozen jello. Mm. That's the best way to describe it. Does it how does it taste? Mm, actually, quite like jello. Yeah, yeah it ain't, I feel like, you know, you have to make things taste good. You know, like, what if, what if somebody eats it? Of course somebody's going to eat it. Phil, yeah, I think, Make sure it's yogurt. A Make sure it's just green, slimy. I'm yogurt. lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and it's like the mom brings her little daughter. Hey, my daughter got slimed earlier, and you know what? She ate some of it, and I told her not to eat it. And then she but, died. You know, um, um, she seems to have cancer now. <laughs> <laughs> well, ma'am, as you can see, you signed this form right here, acknowledging that. No, Sean, I, I want to go over a couple Slime of things you said. Slime may cause cancer and AIDS. Uh, I want to go over Crap. a or both. I want to go over a couple of things you said. I know Ed was kind of picking on you about the whole fat thing and talking about moms. I, I, he's, he's in a bad mood. I think I upset him. I upset him. You know, it's the whole bedwetter theme. Um, but in defense of Edwin, his mom is a whore. <laughs> Sean's mom? But I, <laughs> I'll, I'll leave that up in the air. <laughs> I, I, I got to completely agree with you about the whole kind of like um, the midnight release of GameStop. It's, it's one of those things where I feel like as a gamer, and thank God YouTube exists now, but like it's always been uh, as a, like, a hard, or like a hardcore gamer you've always kind of felt like you were slightly the only one because you went to work and everybody wasn't that much of a gamer. You're like, yeah. You know, like, hey, man, I just got done doing school. It's like, great. I just got done playing Mario 64 all day. But I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> so I, I, you know, like with YouTube out there and there's so many like these really awesome people putting up their game, um, you know, their game knowledge. And then, you know, you go to midnight release and everybody in line looks like you. <laughs> yeah. well, I, mean, I think it's also cool because you have you, there is different diverse groups there. Yeah. It, it also depends on the game. You know, you get Call of Duty, you're gonna get a lot of the dude bro guys out there. Oh, no the offense to Chris. Bros. And uh, <laughs> dude bro, <laughs> yeah. and it's just what you're gonna get. But have you guys been to a minute release that uh, it's not necessarily really popular game? And you got kind of a diverse crowd that's not Call of Duty or Halo or like a bunch of girls. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. The first metal or the the Medal of Honor remake came out the same night as Just Dance Two. And that was probably one of the best midnight launches I've ever been to. Because A, there were 17 people there. Uh -huh. um, like, eight for Medal of Honor and the rest for Just Dance. And there was these girls dancing around these dudes with giant beards waiting in line. They were dressed like the character from Medal of Honor. Wait, it was time, wait, slow down. I want this in detail. <laughs> <laughs> I want this, this in detail. This guy had a badass beard from we're, Medal of Honor. We're, yes. we're talking about women here. So they're actually girls and women yes. lined up. Yep. To for the release of Just Dance. For the release of Just Dance. That's yes. awesome. I that had is really no I mean, not many of them. That's, that's a feat, right, though. Right. That's a feat. No, you get, I, do I, any I, girls I, like that? <laughs> a group of them that come down for that kind of game on yeah. midnight? Yeah, I mean, because talk about games I don't give a fuck about. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I just don't. Well, yeah, oh, maybe you should. It's like, oh, Just Dance 3 released today. Who? <laughs> 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 just what? <laughs> just Mark. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, everything that says just is not me. Sexy lady. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that, that's that's awesome. That's awesome. I would love to go to a Rumina release like that. So I, I just want to bring that up because that definitely kind of resonated. And then, you know, there's always you know females at the the World of Warcraft launches, but they're not the fun kind. <laughs> oh, they're the Darias of the Midnight releases. They look like Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Sean hair. with long hair. Oh. Everybody looks like Sean. Yeah, I just, I just had to say. In, it. In, in, on the inside, these girls look like their moms are whores. <laughs> <laughs> you go up to, hey, is your mom a whore? I bet she is. Yeah. And it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nintendo Ghost got you, buddy. Okay. <laughs> well, cool. Um, you know that's our show. Yeah, yeah I feel like that is show. the show. That is the show. I, I hope it's good. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's good. I'm pretty sure it's awesome. <laughs> hey, I just want to. Give a shout out to our guest again, um, Sean. And Sean, thank you for the Sean on the spot moment. No problem. We'll have you back. Ho- hope to have you back. Yeah. Hope to have you back. That was a good. That was a good time. I actually enjoyed my rant. Chris will definitely see you again. Chris, say goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. Uh, and you'll also see his work online. Uh, all the different graphic design is all done by Chris. Yeah. Just look up uh, fantob.com. <laughs> That's not you, true. Don't you, do that. You'll get it. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, this is Mark. Uh, just Mark s- uh, signing out, you know, slightly jar cheddar chest. And Nate, Nate Bit saying goodbye. Nate Bit, don't forget to check Nate Bit out on uh, SoundCloud, guys. He's out there making music. And check us out on satbgm.com. It's S A T C H BGM. Check us on Facebook. And if you're an indie artist, hey, email us. Oh, yeah. Totally back to indie artists, guys. Hey, man. Good night. Hey.